Hey everybody, this is the fourth here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this deep house bass sound here. So this is a nice preset because you can adjust the X and Y mods as well. Uh, to kind of customize the sound. So that's what I'll be showing you how to make in this video. So to do this, you need to start off by adding Citrus and loading up the default preset. And the next thing I'm going to do is make sure I'm in operator 1 and reduce the frequency ratio to 1. And then I'm going to go onto the main panel and take the pitch all the way down. And this will give me a nice bass. Now the next thing I'm going to do is modulate operator 1 by operator 2. Then in operator 2, I'm going to go to the volume envelope and give it a you know, very basic downwards volume envelope. Um, so I'm deleting the release. And I just took the first point up and took the decay and sustain all the way down. Um, so it, it looks like this. And now you can hear already, you know, you have that kind of sound. And if you want to, you know, if you want it to be a bit more aggressive, you can turn this up, the modulation, uh, operator 2 modulation amount. Uh, you can adjust that to sound how you want it to. And then what I'm going to do is in operator 2 volume, I'm going to go to mod X and drag the first point all the way down. So now you can hear, if I go back to the main panel, you know, as I increase the mod X amount, it brings in more of those harmonics and makes the sound a bit more aggressive. So now I'm going to do a similar thing for operator 3. I'm going to take the X mod all the way down so I can hear just operator 3. But I'm going to turn its frequency ratio down to 1. And then I'm going to copy operator 2's volume envelope. So in operator 2, I went to the volume envelope and I'm going to copy the state. And now in operator 3, I'm going to paste it. Um, that way, you know, the decay is the same on these. And now again, you can adjust it to make it as aggressive as you want. Uh, so that sounds pretty good to me. And now, again, I'm going to go into Operator 3 Volume, um, but Mod Y this time, and do a similar thing as I did before. So now if I adjust Mod Y, it does Operator 3, and Mod X does Operator 2. And you can mix them together if you want to. Uh, to get some different kind of sounds. So the next thing I'm going to do is add a volume envelope to operator 1. Um, I'm going to paste the same envelope, but I'm going to adjust it a bit just to make it fatter. Um, so you can see I'm pulling it out a bit more, and I'm going to right click this point and select double curve. Because this gives it a nice fatter sustain um, than if it had you know, the curves like this. Um, and then I can adjust this if I need to. But that sounds pretty good to me. And the next thing I'm going to do is add some unison. So I'm going to add three voices and I'm just going to leave everything as it is. Uh, but you can play around with that as much as you want to get the kind of sound you want. And this just adds some fatness to the sound, it adds some stereo width and it sounds a lot better to me, like that. Um, but you can hear now, it starts with a bit of a click. Uh, so I'm going to turn the D click on, on operator 1.
and that gets rid of that click at the beginning of the sound. And that's pretty much the sound, um, but there's another option you have. Uh, so you can hear, you know, when I play it, it sounds the same every time I play it. But if you want there to be a bit more variation in the sound as it plays through a song, you can um, go into these three operators, the three that you've used, and you can turn on the global. Uh, so this is global phase. And what this does is instead of sounding the same, instead of the phases starting in the same position whenever I play a note, they kind of go throughout the song globally. Um, so it'll be a bit different every time I play a note. Uh, and this sounds like this now. Um, you know, compare that to um, this. So again, that's something that I like to do. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much the sound. If you want to, you can customize it even further by using different frequency ratios for the modulators. You know, any whole number frequency ratio is going to sound uh, pretty good. Uh, it's just going to add different characters. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully it was helpful. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next video.